Hello everybody, this is Steve here and welcome to Gopher Hall. If you haven't started your business yet, what are you waiting for? If you don't start your business this year, you'll be at least one year older when you do. So get started today. Okay, in this discussion today on this podcast, we got something really cool that went on and uh, we were playing around with a bunch of different calculation forms on the, the Gopher Forum at gopherforum.com and one of the things that everybody was asking for was a calculation form uh, to help you create your snowplow bids. And uh, we see plenty of times new lawn care business owners get in, they get a snowplow their first winter, they have no idea on how to bid their snow plowing jobs and, and it turns out to be a big disaster. If you bid too much, you're not going to get the job and if you bid too little, you're just going to be losing money and there's plenty of ways you can lose money with snow plowing. So, we put together this uh, snow plowing bid calculator form and uh, you can see it on the, the, the gopherforum.com or on the, the lawnshot.com uh, blog. And uh, I'm going to walk you through this. You can load it up. Uh, we'll, let's take a step by step go through this and then try it out, experiment with this, and see uh, what type of uh, uh, variables you can put in to get out uh, an hourly wage uh, that you got to charge or an hourly fee you have to charge uh, in order to make a profit that the, the, with the percentage of profit that you want to make. So, like the first things that it asks you are the average number of storms you have per year, uh, the average number of billable hours per storm. So you can. If you don't know, get I guess get a farmer's almanac or something like that, or and just look look in the past couple of years, uh, say five years, figure out how many storms your area had in the past five years, average it out and put it in there. Just for the sake of this discussion, I put in ten here, average storms per year, and then the number of billable hours, I put in eight. Um, then you can choose your driver hourly wages. If you have a helper along, you can choose their wages, and then you can choose the risk factor. If you're not sure on how much to charge uh, for the, your, your employee salaries and uh, you're not sure because they may have to take extra time driving or they may have to take extra time doing whatever, uh, I put in a little little percentage here you can put in to, to give you a little added uh, buffer zone. So I put in 10% for an added, uh, added buffer percentage on their salary for overruns. How much prep time uh, before and after the storm? This is important because these aren't billable hours. You can't. You, you're not charging anybody when you're just setting up, when you're hooking up the plow, when you're loading sand. So you have to you have to use that uh, when you're doing your calculations to come up with during your billable hours how much should you be charging. Um, the percentage markup on their salaries to cover insurance. There's already a, a, a figure set in here for 25 percent. You can change that if you want. Uh, the number of hours an employee is paid per storm. Um, I set up this to be 10. You can change it, whatever you want to do. Snow plow costs, uh, how much does it cost to replace your snow plow? How many years does your snow plow last? Uh, the number of average billable hours per season for the snow plow. And then we go into the truck cost. It says, you know, the cost to replace your truck, how many uh, years will your truck last? The truck's winter use and abuse factor. Now, this is kind of interesting because the, the, the trucks just get beat up with the snow plows attached to them. They can get out of all the alignment, it gets messed up, and the frames can get all bent up. So I created this little the, this uh, uh, the factor, basically. You can put it in here. Uh, if you put in one, it keeps it at the same. If you put in, say, like two, it's going to multiply the, the truck uh, abuse factor by uh, two times. And uh, you can change these variables around and see what type of results you get. Uh, the weekly and fuel and oil expenses for the truck, you can put that in there. Annual truck maintenance costs, uh, the annual truck billable hours. That's uh, if you're using your truck also for lawn care. This this way, it's uh, it's actually going to lower your bid. But if you have a truck that's just specifically for snow plowing and you're only going to use it a small amount of the time per year, then it's going to increase your costs to uh, to chart the bill for that truck. Um, the percentage of annual truck billable hours used for snow plowing, and that's used in the calculations as well. So say you're using your truck 2,000 hours uh, throughout the year, and uh, you're only using it, say, 4% of the time for snow plowing. You can just put in the percentage there. Um, if you're using it only for snow plowing, you can put 100% in. Um, then I also added the salter and sander costs. If you want to include sanding and salting, it gives you a, a chance here to put in your the cost to replace the salter and sander, how many years the, the lifespan of the salter and sander is, uh, the number of average billable hours for the salter and sander, it's probably maybe could be a little bit less uh, than uh, just your, your, plowing, your plowing hours, or it could be the same or it could be more, depending on the types of jobs you do. Uh, the number of cubic yards of salt you can spread per hour, I had it set in here for two, you can change that around. Uh, the purchase cost that you're paying uh, per cubic yard of salt or sand, 
and that's important as well. General overhead costs, the early advertising expenses, how much is that? How much is your office rent per month? How much is your phone expense? Your office uh, supplies expense per month? Your office utilities? And then any additional monthly expenses you want to add on, you can put that in there. And then the last part is the profit uh, markup. What uh, percentage profit uh, should the company make of the total? So if you're, if you're charging 100 bucks an hour for snow plowing, 10% of that is going to be for the company's profit. And then I'll, if, you set, if you set it to 10%. And also it says what percentage should the owner make? So I have it set in here for 25%. Uh, if you set that in for 25%, say you're charging 100 bucks per hour, $25 of that is going to go as profit for you, the owner. And the last thing here is the average number of billable hours total uh, the, the business has per year. And that, that allows us to calculate a couple other things as far as the overhead costs and everything else. So once we do that, once we have all that in there, we click on the Calculate Job Estimate button, and it gives us a breakdown. Um, it tells us how much everything costs basically per hour. It tells us how much our, our hourly profit is after all our costs. And then it says when you add in the owner's profit, the business profit per hour. And then because uh, there's a very good chance that your non-billable hours and your billable hours will be different, you're going to have you know, prep time before and after each day when you're out there. So it's going to actually affect how much you should charge per billable hour. So after I did my calculations here, I got $73.66. Uh, and, I, and I know that if these were my figures and I punched them in here and I got this figured out, if I went out and I was charging $73 an hour to do uh, snow plowing, I'd be making 25% uh, profit for my business and I'd be making a 10% profit uh, for the owner. So I hope you like this. I hope you try it out. If you have questions or comments, get onto the Gopher forum and let us know. If there's other things we should be adding or, or, or changing around with the equations, let us know. But I hope you enjoy this. And uh, now go out there, make some money, snow plow, and always remember to dream it, build it, go for it. And ultimately, uh, this show wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for Gopher software. So if you get a chance and you're a lawn care business operator, uh, you need software to run your business, even if you're just starting, the Gopher software is very inexpensive. And what it's going to do is it's going to allow you to get everything organized. It's going to allow you to get all your bills organized, all your schedule organized. Uh, you're going to be able to print out daily worksheets. You're going to be able to print out invoices when you need them. It works with the Palm software. It also has a barcode reader so you can scan in when jobs are completed or if invoices are paid. And one of the biggest mistakes you see a lot of lawn care businesses make is that they don't keep track of how much people owe them. They don't get their invoices out on time or they mess up their schedules. So this also can track your chemical applications, your employee times, and it can also track your equipment preventive maintenance repair schedules. So if you get a chance, get on gophersoftware.com, download the free trial version, try it out for 30 days, and until the next time we see you, always remember to dream it, build it, go for it.